In this video, we'll determine the molecular geometry for XeO4. This is xenon tetroxide. So the first thing when you're finding molecular geometry, you need a valid Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for XeO4. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. We have our Lewis structure, and we can imagine we have four oxygen atoms here bonded to the central xenon. And the central xenon has more than eight valence electrons, but that's okay. It can have an expanded octet. These four oxygen atoms are going to push away from each other and be as far away as they can from each other and still connected to the xenon. That's what will give us our molecular geometry for XeO4. It helps if we visualize that. So you can imagine the purple, that's the central xenon atom. We're going to add four oxygen atoms. They are double bonded. One, two, and you see they're spreading out to be as far away as they can from each other. Three, we get this trigonal planar molecular geometry. And then we add the fourth, and everything spreads out into what we call a tetrahedral molecular geometry. If you're interested in the electron geometry, since there aren't any lone pairs, the electron geometry, that's also tetrahedral. So let's go back to our Lewis structure. If we weren't able to visualize that molecular geometry, we could count the number of things attached to the xenon atom. We have one, two, three, four atoms. So four things, the steric number is four. And we could look this up. We have steric number of four and zero lone pairs. So that gives us our tetrahedral molecular geometry. The bond angles here should be 109.5 degrees. We could also use the AXE notation to figure this out as well. That's where A, that's the central atom, that's the xenon. X, the number of atoms attached to that xenon, we said there were four of those oxygen atoms, and E, that would be the lone pairs, but we don't have any lone pairs, so we could write E0 or just leave that off. Then you would have memorized AX4 is tetrahedral, or if you were allowed, you could look it up. So that's the molecular geometry for XeO4, xenon tetroxide. Also talked about the bond angles and the electron geometry. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.